Hello, and this is video two for nutrition and metabolism from, well, you know where you are. Um, anyway, metabolism. Uh, now, we think of metabolism as being, we kind of vaguely uh, think about it if we're thinking about weight loss or weight gain. And your metabolism is a part of that, but metabolism is a much larger concept. As you can see here by this definition, it is all of your biochemical reactions. So everything you do from making proteins to uh, recycling uh, red blood cells to um, sending and receiving chemical signals uh, and the cells reactions to them, that's all part of metabolism. But you can boil it down to a couple of different categories. You can have anabolic reactions or anabolism, which build bigger molecules, or catabolic reactions or catabolism, which break down those big molecules. So if you take a, a large molecule of starch and you break it down into its individual glucose monomers, you've conducted a catabolic reaction. If I take a bunch of glucose and I piece them together to form a large molecule of starch, I've conducted an anabolic reaction. So anabolic makes it bigger. You can think of anabolic steroids as making a person bigger and that could help you remember it. Uh, yeah, I guess they, they come from the same root. So uh, here we go. Now, anabolic reactions and catabolic reactions don't exist on their own islands. They're not just out there running and then being done, right? They're all, your whole body is one big unit. So you're conducting catabolic reactions, which when they break down those large molecules, they will release energy versus anabolic reactions, which require energy to power them. And this is kind of a rehash from ANP1 or Biology 1 or whichever. Now, you can couple those two reactions. You can, you can make a catabolic reaction power a, an anabolic reaction. So, for instance, when I, uh, when we, what we'll see in this chapter is that I can use sugar, the energy in sugar, when, break, when I break it down, I can use that to make other molecules, to do anabolic reactions. Now you can couple them either with a phosphate group, which is one thing we'll see here in the next slide. Phosphate group can go from one molecule to the next. If I'm holding on, if I'm a molecule and I've got a phosphate group and I'm gonna give it to another molecule, basically giving that phosphate group to another molecule gives it a certain amount of potential energy. So I kind of power up that second molecule by donating a uh, phosphate group to it when I break down or when I when that phosphate group comes off of me that's part of catabolism. The other way is through uh, reduction oxidation reactions or redox. You might have heard them called oxidation reduction, reduction oxidation, whichever. Um, you can't have one without the other. They go hand in hand. Uh, and here's how I remember them. So loss of electrons is oxidation, Leo. Gain of your electrons is reduction, Ger. So if you had a lion, you, your lion, uh, Leo, would make a noise like a grr. Other people remember it like oil rig. I didn't write that one down, but if, if you've heard it before and you want to use that one, go ahead. Oil is oxidation is loss. Rig is reduction is gain. But Leo says grr is cuter. So going with that. Uh, in both of these, the receiving molecule gains energy. So if I'm the molecule that gets a phosphate group, I gain potential energy. If I'm a molecule that gets an electron, if I am reduced gaining an electron, I have grown in potential energy. All right, this is gonna be a short video, this, this particular one, because I don't wanna get into the next topic. Come on, it's so slow. This next, I've clicked that next slide 10 seconds ago. All right. Uh, ATP synthesis is what we're going to talk about for a large chunk of the next uh, slide. So ATP is kind of our, our currency molecule, I guess. You know, we use it, we might think of glucose as being our sort of the fuel molecule that's in our food. When we eat all that glucose, we're going to change that in. We're going to convert that to a different molecular currency of ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So yeah, do know that. Uh, ATP is kind of this global currency inside of our bodies that we can use for pretty much any reaction that requires energy. There's a couple of exceptions, but 99.9% .9 of it is, is powered by ATP. And we can make ATP in this kind of a long drawn out process called ATP synthesis, which we will be covering in the next video or two. 
and uh, I'm going to dramatically simplify it. So if you learned it all one time and you remember that there's a dozen reactions in a few of these different processes, you're not going to have to do that. Just there's going to be a, a much reduced um, list. So, well, how do we make ATP? Well, we've got to take ADP, which is adenosine diphosphate. So it's an adenine molecule with uh, two phosphate groups effectively is ADP. And we're going to add one more phosphate group, ATP. And one way we can do that is through what's called substrate level phosphorylation, where one mole that was this example right here, this guy, right? So this is where molecule A, uh, I don't think this is going to work for my example as well, but here's this uh, enzyme. So this is going to be ATP synthase. We'll deal with that later. Here's the molecule that's holding a phosphate group. It's going to donate that phosphate group, boink, to the ADP, making ATP. And then this guy can go off and, and pick up another phosphate and repeat and repeat and repeat. Anyway, substrate level because it comes straight off of a, another molecule. Oxidative phosphorylation is a lot more complicated, and that's what we're going to focus on uh, mostly. And this is going to be a long series of reactions, long series of redox reactions, which provide the energy to grab a phosphate group, add it to an ADP, and make ATP. So that's the same, right? You're going to take a phosphate, add it to this molecule, and you get this molecule. That's going to be the, the same in both cases. It's just how you power it that differs. All right, that's the end of this video. Two old slides.